from the screening and party of 13 Lives by Ron Howard, it's a Ron Howard film. So um, I'm a voting member of uh, the Screen Actors Guild. I'm also an Emmys voting member, but this I'm invited to because I'm a Screen Actors Guild voting member. And this particular movie is 13 Lives. And uh, I am at the Directors Guild of America. Hello, you wanna say hi, I'm live. You say you're from AFTRA or from uh, SAG? SAG? Oh, I'm a SAG actress. Oh, yeah. are you a board member of SAG? No, no, oh. just a voting member. Voting member, oh, okay, you're an actress though. Yeah, oh, yeah. And what movies have you been in following? Oh, I'm on IMDb, but I'm live right now. Do you wanna oh, say hi? hi. <laughs> so I'm filming I, live. I'm meeting this wonderful lady who's doing this live. What an excellent movie we got to see. Yes. With Ron Howard. I when I saw Ron Howard, I said, there's Opie. <laughs> Didn't he give the best QA? He was the best. And I said, oh, Opie from, you know, Mayberry RFD. Or I say, or oh, Richie Cunningham. Yes. From Happy yes, Days. Yes. This is great. I grew up watching that. Yeah. I I really, now I'm getting I, my age. <laughs> yeah, no. Hey. You're a lot younger than, than I. But yeah, so good. But, but did you introduce yourself? Oh, yeah, I, I'm Patricia Marr. My husband, Harry Marr, used to work for Astra. Oh. And he worked for Paramount. And he worked for uh, Columbia Motion Pictures. And he also worked for Warner Brothers. So that was his first job at Warner Brothers. Oh, but it's so nice to meet My you. daughter's dad works at Paramount. Really? But yeah, I'll talk to you more yeah, about it after does. the legend. But thank you for participating. Yeah. Nicole Pano. Nicole Pano. My channel here, where I'm live streaming, it's on YouTube. It's Travel with Nicole. Yeah, Travel. <laughs> YouTube. Okay, I'm going to look you up and I'll all put right. a like on there. All right, all right. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. So, anyway, as you can see, everyone here is really nice. This behind me is the Director's Guild. Well, not behind me, where I am, is the Director's Guild of America. It's fabulous. I have been to so many movies and screenings and Q and A's and have gotten to meet so many um, actors and directors and producers and cast and crew here. As you can see, there is an open bar. You can get whatever you want. I'm having water because it's a really rainy night. <laughs> Excuse me, a really rainy night in Los Angeles, which is really unusual. But, you know, here we are, a really rainy night in L.A. I'm going to show you. I'm going to let you peek outside for a second. And, um, oh, I don't want to cut through this selfie here, but um, these people are all doing a selfie here. But I do want to show you how bad the weather is. Oh, thanks. Oh, I'm showing the weather on <laughs> my live stream. Hello. Oh, go. Come on in. <laughs> Are you live streaming? Oh, Hello. on YouTube. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So, um, so take a look at this rain. Can you see? This is really bad for LA. I was really scared driving here from the valley to here. I could not see driving down Laurel Canyon. It was so scary. My heart was beating so hard. Anyway, um, back to the party and I'm going to wait for the rain to slow, I hope, before I go home. But um, back to the party, they have an open bar, they have a full food buffet, which is pretty much um, being taken down now because the party's been going on for a while. But I will show you the buffet. Hello, now I'm streaming on another site on YouTube now. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and I'll show you the food here. Here's some of the buffet. <laughs> Introduce yourself? Oh, you know, Schaefer Catering. Come well, on in here. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And here's some more of the food. There's some more food as well. And then there's an entire dessert station as well. And I'll show you the dessert station too. Um, I can't show you inside the theater now because they've already closed it. But the theater is just beautiful. It's back through those doors. They actually have two theaters here. Theater one and theater two and so they can actually have two screenings going on at one time and they do actually have separate rooms for parties like this is the main lobby but they do have a separate room off to the side where they sometimes have parties as well so they can actually have two different screenings and two different 
parties at the same time, which is really, really cool. And um, sometimes you have to choose which one you want to go to, which is pretty fun. Here's the dessert station. I'll show it to you real quick. There's a lot of desserts. Let's see. Let's get a good angle. This is one of the dessert tables. But anyway, there, the screening was wonderful. If you haven't seen 13 Lives, I really recommend it. More than wanting to see the movie, I wanted to meet Ron Howard and see the Q&A with Ron Howard. And I gotta tell you, that was really spectacular. He had a lot of fabulous things to say. In fact, um, well, <laughs> something really funny he said was he was talking about a uh, market research for Apollo 13. I, it was toward the end of the Q&A when he had already done all the questions and so forth about um, 13 lives already. And he was talking about, you know, his experiences and making films in Hollywood. And this was so super funny. He said, you know, when they do the movies, they do, of course, market research. They get an audience. Um, it's basically a blind audience. They don't know, meaning that they don't know what they're gonna see. They don't know what movie they're gonna see. They don't know what, who directed it, who produced it. They don't know anything about it. So they watched it and it was for Apollo 13 and um, he said he got all the stack of cards and everyone liked it except there was one and it was on the top of his stack that gave it all negative comments and bad remarks and um, and he said it, he didn't, the person didn't give much explanation as to why. He said it was a, a Caucasian male, 23 years old, uh, 23 or 24 years old, I don't remember. But um, he said he checked off everything as terrible, terrible, terrible. And on the back of the card of where they were, you know, talking about the market research, it asked, give your description of why you feel like what you feel about the movie. And I guess the guy said um, that it's such Hollywood bull beep, <laughs> BS, right? Um, I don't want to say the word in, <laughs> in real life, but um, that it's such Hollywood BS and um, that no one would ever believe this movie. And the funny thing is, it's based on a true story. So. You know, Ron Howard said he had learned from that and uh, learned just to stick to the truth and to make things as accurate as possible. And I thought that was really funny. But he did say a whole bunch of really fabulous things about um, about movie making. And it was just, it's so inspiring to see the Q&As. So let me show you a little more of the Directors Guild. There's this beautiful, like, little plant life here and um, so many people at the party. It's just really fabulous and really wonderful. And um, once upon a time, I was at a screening here. This is just like a little side note. Here's the open bar again. Once upon a time, I was at a screening here and um, it's when I was, um, happily married to my husband once upon a time and I was here at the bar and my husband kissed me and the bartender said to me oh is this your brother <laughs> and I will never forget that the person had asked me if I was kissing my brother it was my husband <laughs> anyway just a side note that I always think about when I come here to the director's guild because this is where that happened it was <laughs> Just so silly. Anyway, I seem to be rambling on by now, but I hope that you have enjoyed this live stream. Oh, there was another open bar too. Oh, this one was hidden. I could have come to this one and not had such a long line. Um, anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed the live stream. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing the Directors Guild of America. It's a very special place. And I will check in with you guys next time I have a fun event to go to. See you later. Oh, and I will also post some of my, um, some of the things that I videoed from the Q&A. There were some little clips of things that Ron Howard said that were just
so fabulous. So if I get a chance, oh, it's okay, I'm filming this way. <laughs> so if I get a chance, I will go ahead and post those as little short reels. So if you wanna try to catch some of those too. Okay, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Let's see, how do I end?